hey butterflies welcome back to the channel this is going to be your pick a card reading entitled why are people drawn to your energy why are people drawn to your magnificence why are people drawn to you my butterflies so you've got a choice between pile number one or pile number two or you can choose both piles if you want to to find out so i'll give you a moment to choose Let's go to part number one and just to remind you part number one if you would like a personal reading all my information is in the description box below now let's check out why are people drawn to you my part number one let's see what's so magnificent and amazing about you some of the things you may know already but some of the things you may be like really okay i didn't know that okay so we have the queen of swords so i feel like one of the reasons why people are drawn to your energy is because of your intelligence. You have this way about you whereby you don't really say much, right? But you are very observant. And sometimes I, I was listening to, I can't remember what his name is, but I think he's done that book, The 48 Laws of Power, right? I haven't I haven't got the book, but I see little snippets um, on YouTube. And he was saying one of the things that people like, I'm not saying it word for word though, I know I'm not, is that when you're quiet it gives you a sense of power when people talk too much they kind of trip themselves up right they expose themselves too much and i feel like you don't do this intentionally um you just know you you pick up on social cues you know when to talk and when not to talk you're very observant this is your personality type um you could be i feel like a libra or a gemini even though gemini's are known for the communication but there's something about you being very you know you have this poise and graceful side to you as well and you you have an ear of authority so people want to know more about you and the fact that you do not talk much as well but obviously when you're spoken to you will communicate but you have an ear of grace right you're very graceful people feel like you're very graceful um you have secrets that they want to find out about there's an energy of mystique about you and then when people do converse with you it's like wow like you broaden their mind you broaden their knowledge or the things that you are interested in they wouldn't necessarily um think that you would be interested in those things so you could be into gadgets you could be into you know gaming you know there's something about you that is very unique and people just find you to be very intriguing yeah we have the knight of swords some of you could be an aquarius and i feel like people are drawn to your energy because you have like this i'm hearing zany side like the way you look is not the way that you act so you could like ride in motorbikes you could maybe go to those sort of motorbike you know bars where they all meet up everyone that has motorbikes so people wouldn't necessarily see you i'm hearing like you could be like a tomboy for some of you or if you are a male then people could perceive you to be somebody that is like i don't know a i'm hearing an electrician or a doctor or a physician or a psychologist or a lawyer you you have a very sophisticated look about you a surgeon but then people find out that you are into biking or gaming and it's like wow there's so many sides to this individual so people find you to be very fun and they're drawn to your energy because they don't know what to expect next and with that aquarius energy you know it does represent you know you being very quirky you having this original way about you you could have many different friends from different ethnicities you could actually talk many different languages even though i haven't got sagittarius here to indicate that night house energy but you could belong to a different club groups or organizations you could be involved in different sports as well um and people find you to be very interesting and exciting so why are people drawn to your energy i feel like they feel as if you keep them at the edge of their seats like what are you going to do next you are a person that if you say you're going to do something you do it you may plant a lot of seeds you may have a lot of ideas and you generally implement these ideas and you have star quality with a six of one some of you could be a leo and i feel like you have the ability to 
you know, I'm hearing help others with that Aquarian energy. You like to help others, maybe to start their business, maybe to give them ideas. Um, you are a great leader. So you show people that if I can do it, then you can do it. And there's a down to earth quality about you. There's a likable quality. You're very likable and uh, very graceful. You definitely know how to transmute energy my pile one with the judgment card right here you have been through a lot but you don't wear your pain outwardly or you don't project your pain outwardly you work through whatever you've been through and you use it to guide and help and heal others you have a healing effect you like to um transform yourself and maybe you transform others as well whenever they spend time with you whenever you know anyone's in a relationship with you they they feel renewed they feel transformed they are a shadow of their former self you are able to you know bring things that are hidden to the surface you make people confront their fears and overcome their fears as well and people just find your energy to be so dynamic and powerful you know how to have a good time you're not always serious you know there's a quality about you where people find you to be very serious um, but once they get to know you, they see that you're very playful, you're very down to earth. You always make time for others, free of cuts. A lot of people want to spend time with you. A lot of people will call you their good friend or, you know, you may be close to your family members. You may be the life and soul of the party as well. You know how to have a good time. You are the person to get up and start dancing and, you know, you make everyone enjoy themselves and you bring, you just generally have a good vibe about you. You are very free spirited. You could be uh, Aries as well. And I feel like you, you are generally like the first to do things as well. Um, maybe the first to speak up and it's quite contradictory because we had that energy of you not really saying much but you know when to speak up um you know how to express yourself and you have this i don't care attitude about about you which makes people feel brave you're very brave as well is what i'm picking up you may have some really cool instagram posts as well because with that aries energy represents like selfies you know etc so you may have like really cool selfies um interesting selfies you may take some dynamic creative pictures of yourself as well so people are you know in awe of you what are you going to do next you have this excitable quality about you uh you are you have this brave way about you as well is what i'm picking up you have a leadership abilities yes but there's an exciting quality about you um you could be a social media influencer or people should, uh, have said to you, you you could be famous or you should be on social media and you know people are drawn to your energy especially if you have a love partner or a lot of people are attracted to you because you have this way about you where people just feel safe they find you yes to be very attractive but more so than your outer appearance it's a quality that you know you possess within that people just feel like if they were to be in a relationship with you you know they will be taken care of emotionally you they will feel her they will feel understood and i feel like you understand the human mind you understand people's emotions and you are able to connect with emotions you are playful you have different qualities about you you're not just one-sided so this is why people are drawn to your energy because they always feel like you're going to give them some more and they are always intrigued about what that some more is all right so that's what i have for you part number one take care of yourself keep being the amazing you and i'll speak to you soon peace out let's move on to part number two so let's see why people are drawn to your energy well first and foremost part number two you are striking to look at um if you are a male you may have like nice broad shoulders you have like you know definitely got a striking appearance there's an energy of fire within you you definitely could be a leo or a sagittarius sun moon rising mars or venus and you you ooh sex appeal is what i'm picking up you have a lot of dominant masculine traits and people may be drawn to you because um you know if it's a female that's drawn to you or females that are drawn to you then people may feel like if they have your offspring then you know their offspring will be will have your um genetics like you have very powerful striking genetics you could be very athletic and people may feel like you know people are drawn to the fact that you're very athletic so you could be into sports as well and people find you very 
exciting to watch you could be great at sports is what I'm picking up um, you could also be a great leader people follow your lead whether you know that or not people find you to be dynamic people find you to be very powerful um, regal is what I'm picking up but you have your boundary so there's an the energy of you having all these amazing qualities but you keep people at arm's length which makes people want to be near you some more some of you could be a Taurus or a Libra some who rise in Mars or Venus we have Libra here as well with the justice card so I feel like people are drawn to your energy because they find you to be very balanced um, and it's almost like people they, they kind of fear you in some way because they feel like if they wrong you then they will definitely face some sort of karma because you are generally a very likable person and to wrong you would be an injustice as well and if people have wronged you they may have found that they have faced some sort of karma and um, whether that's people turning on them or things just going wrong because generally you are likable so if people just go out their way to wrong you you know bad luck follows them because you actually like to spread good luck even though you do like your own space uh, people are drawn to your energy because they find you to be very beautiful and very at peace with yourself and they want to know your secrets they want to know you know the magic that you possess if they can have some of that magic you know um, you could be very abundant people could see that you live a lavish life um, whether people know about this or they witness it um, people are drawn to your energy because they find you to be very nurturing as well and they see you as very uh what's the right word part number two they see you as somebody that i'm hearing that is very caring you could be a caregiver some of you could be a mother some of you could be a father uh, but there's an the energy of you being a great creator so you could you know some of you could cook some of you could bake some of you could have children um, and people find you to be a great parent and they find this quality to be very fascinating and attractive about you and again if you are a female men may want to impregnate you because of your genetics and your nurturing qualities they feel like you'll be a great mother to their child okay so we have the full card why are people drawn to your energy because you are free-spirited you know you live your life um, to the max and you enjoy life is is what i'm picking up right now and you have this happy go lucky way about you which makes people feel happy go lucky and uplifts people's spirits so even if people feel like you know things are not going right for them whenever they're around you it's like you sprinkle your your magic dust onto them or you give them hope you give people hope and you know you're able to bring clarity to situations that they did not have clarity in before is what i'm picking up again this is saying that you could be a great parent with the six of cups as well and again people are drawn to your energy especially people from the past that you may have been in relationships with they always reminisce about how you made them feel so you leave a lasting good impression on people yeah people are drawn to your energy people are drawn to your energy because you're able to help them heal from past hurts and wounds and people could also be drawn to your energy because they feel like they've wronged you and they feel like they have to make things right because maybe they are facing karma right now or they have faced some sort of karma after doing you wrong and they feel like they just have to apologize to you and when they look back in hindsight it's like wow that person was a real good one and i mistreated them is what i'm picking up and lastly people are drawn to your energy because you are amazing look we have the queen of wands some of you could be a leo uh sagittarius taurus or aquarius sun moon rising mars or venus or libra and people just find you to be very magical very high vibrational very creative some of you could have an animal and a great manifesto as well and somebody that retains their youthfulness and that inner child and someone that always goes after their goals someone that looks good as well that's what i have for you part number two i'll speak to you soon peace out